Right now, China is building the first small modular reactor of its kind, and is only a piece of their nuclear power strategic plan that may shock you. China is going through changes. It's getting wealthier, producing more things and becoming hotter, all of which require more energy to sustain. Air conditioning is a prime example of this, where during peak summer months, demand for this cooling can contribute as much as 50% of total peak electricity demand in the country. This, as you can imagine, is a nightmare for China's electrical grid operators and has led to several cases of rolling blackouts in many of China's major cities. So whilst China's energy problem remains a problem, coal power plants have been the answer for now. But with President Xi's commitment to reach carbon neutrality before 2060, coal doesn't seem to be China's long-term solution. Enter nuclear power. China was relatively late to the nuclear party, only connecting its first reactor to the grid in 1991. But now China has 55 operational nuclear reactors, with plans to build an additional 150 by 2035. This is more planned nuclear capacity than the rest of the world combined. What's more is that China will require so much uranium to power these reactors that their national nuclear energy company is actually building a designated uranium warehouse in Alishanko on the border of Kazakhstan to ensure a secure supply of the metal into the country. Small modular reactors, however, are an additional piece to the nuclear puzzle promising safer, cheaper, more flexible nuclear energy. And whilst leaders of the nuclear industry like the US and France have made plans to build such reactors, China is currently building the world's first onshore pressurized water small nuclear reactor, the ACP-100. You see, to most of the world, SMRs seem like something of a pipe dream. Yes, there's lots of interest in the technology, but even the most advanced of SMRs are still in their licensing stage, with estimated dates of operation in the early 2030s. Whether it's a lack of funding, tame electrical infrastructure in certain areas, or just uncharted regulatory policies that have to be adapted, the SMR revolution is, for now, slow moving. In China, however, SMRs are already a reality. In 2021, China's first ever gas cooled 210 megawatt pair of small modular reactors were connected to the grid and reached full power in December of last year. And now, China is building the first ever small modular pressurized water reactor. The ACP-100, also known as the Linglong-1, is the first reactor of its kind to be approved by the IAEA. The reactor, located in the island province of Hainan, is expected to produce 125 megawatts of capacity when connected to the grid in 2026. This, alongside the already present Xiangzhou nuclear power plant on the island, provide energy to a part of China where transportation costs for other sources of energy have traditionally been expensive. The electricity generated by the plant will have a diverse array of beneficiaries, including a local desalination plant and industrial park, just highlighting the benefits of building small modular reactors in more isolated areas with less extensive infrastructure. The reactor's multiple passive safety systems, simpler design and smaller core mean that this new class of reactors should be more protected against exogenous events compared to traditional reactors further highlighting the benefits that their implementation can offer. In terms of actually building the thing, the project's total construction period will be an estimated 58 months, with the installation phase already underway, whilst the total cost for the project will be in the region of 4 to 800 million dollars, although final figures will most likely be different. But once these reactors are produced on a larger scale, costs are expected to halve, with construction times aiming to be reduced to just 3 years. But the key benefits of having a standardized modular design won't be realized until we see these reactors built on a much larger scale. So until the ACP-100 is finished and replicated, this economies of scale allure surrounding small modular reactors is still in question. But there's no denying that the project's quick advancement brings hope to generating clean energy through SMRs around the world. 
China plans to build plenty more nuclear reactors, including a world's first molten salt reactor. So if you want me to cover more content on nuclear energy and SMRs, comment down below, subscribe to our channel, and press the bell icon to be notified of future videos.